Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich! Okay, this may surprise some of you, but while I'm uploading videos and processing videos, I, I, I play games for fun. So, I've been grinding Final Fantasy X HD a little bit, and uh, at work, I was talking to somebody, uh, anyway. And we started talking about the possibility of doing a hero-free playthrough of Dragon Quest VIII. And actually, I was talking to somebody in a, in a chat on a speedrun, a Dragon Quest speedrun. And we were talking about this as well, about the, the oddity of doing a playthrough without hero. And we decided that the hardest thing about that would be this boss. Would be fighting Calamari with no... With no hero. Because it's only Yangus. And... So I decided to attempt that. I decided to attempt a, a hero-free playthrough to see how hard it would be to get past... Uh, Geezer in the Waterfall and Calamari. And I didn't record my fight of Geezer in the Waterfall. Which I did at level 7. And had some pretty good luck. I mean, it was hard to do. So I decided to record my attempts of fighting Calamari... This is my first attempt. This was my first attempt. This is post commentary. Uh, this is my first attempt fighting Calamari. I decided to try at level 12. I have put 10 points of skill into humanity so that Yengis would have heal. I put 12 points into axes so he would have Helm Splitter and the plus 5 bonus to axes. And I put everything else in fisticuffs. So he would have Knuckle Sandwich and an agility increase when unarmed. Um, I beat him. It, it was not it wasn't actually that bad. I think you could probably do it at level eleven. You may even be able to do it at level ten, although I don't know that I would like to try. Knowing what I know now, I would try it at level eleven, I think. So, uh, some, some other things I did to prepare for this fight. You will see me switch between being um, armed with the axe and using Helm Splitter, and then being unarmed and using Knuckle Sandwich. I thought that was a good choice. Um, I'm loaded up with medicinal herbs, and I think that we finished with two medicinal herbs, so you probably... I probably could have used Knuckle Sandwich one more time. Um, heal tends to produce slightly better results for actually healing. So, um, your choice is every time you use Knuckle Sandwich, that's one less time you can use Heal, and you have to use a Medicinal Herb instead. So. You'll see that, you'll see that that is my main strategy in this, this actual fight. Is to kind of, to kind of directly heal once, sometimes twice, and at one point, at level 12, Yangus has the agility to kind of, to kind of beat Calamari in attacks. So, I got to go first almost every turn, which was absolutely crucial. I banked on going first, and one time it didn't happen, and it almost killed me. So you will see that. It drops me down to, I think, four hit points. I know for, for a lot of people this will not be news, that this is do but it was really doable. Now, one of the things I have to strongly suggest, in fact, I would say it's, it's, it's essential, at least for... You get, bef you get just searching in the Tower of Alexandria, around Fairbury, around the town of Alexandria, in Port Prospect, and in the areas around that, you get several seeds that you can use, like seeds of strength and seeds of... You get a seed of life. I would strongly suggest that you do the method where you save your game, use that seed, and make sure that it gives you four extra hit points. And that both of your seeds of strength both give you two instead of one, because two is the max for a seed of strength. You get a seed of defense in Fairbury. I think it's the only one you get. I would make sure that that also gives you two defense points. So yeah, Knuckle Sandwich does 41 to him at this level. Or 40. 
Because it does an additional third of, a, of an attack. Now, I think you could grind up a, an additional kind of level and put it all into fisticuffs and be in really good shape for this fight. You would have, I think, 15 more attack unarmed to knuckle sandwich. And I just kept Helm Splitter as like the standard attack with my every time I used an axe, I used Helm Splitter, why wouldn't I? So yeah, I was really amazed that this could be done as easily as it was at level 12. I mean, I was still, I would have been in, I would have been in trouble had I had to last a couple more turns, but not many more. Or, uh, well, I, it's, that, that's not even the right intonation for what I was trying to say. Uh, I could have lasted another three or four turns. Maybe. Calamari has 360 hit points. We do about 30 damage a, a hit, or a turn, so... I, my estimate is, using the strategy I used, you have to last 11 turns. And I, I think that that might be doable one one lower level. Oh, I take that back. There may be two Seeds of Life. You want to make sure both of those give you four. Both of mine gave me four hit points. I don't know how many other videos off of, like, if I'm going to play through this. I actually don't really, I just really wanted to see how far I could get, like, I wanted to see how hard it was to get through this. I don't even know if I'm going to continue this playthrough, but it is a fun thing to do. Because now that I have Jessica on my team and can kind of amp her up and stuff, I don't think that this is going to be that hard. And especially once I get Angelo, it's almost going to be normal to play this. So there we go. Calamari is defeated. Oh, oh, they were stronger than we thought. We give up. We give up. So anyway, um, they, this automatically resurrects your hero. That's right, you bought us. So he seems alive. I mean, he's alive at the end of this video, but he still hasn't gained any experience or gotten any levels. He has three experience. I should qualify that. Because of that first battle against three slimes, he has three experience points. But he'll be level one forever. Because there's no reason why, if I fought Dual Magus without resurrecting Angelo, there's no reason I can't or only resurrecting Angelo to to pray to the... There's no reason that I wouldn't fight Dual Magus with Hero and level him up. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Not bad, guys. You're a lot stronger than you look. You know, we've never properly introduced ourselves. And who might you be? I'm Yangus. Yeah, no Hero. That's his name. Yangus and the Gov. No, it's yeah. Yango, Yangus and no Hero. We need to get ready for So, I don't know. We'll see. As I'm going through, I may oh. record. I called you to think if I do um, record any, they, they will probably be with live commentaries. I did not expect this to succeed. Anyway, uh, because I may record some boss fights just to show them off. Just to, just to show me fighting with a level 1 dead hero. But Yangus is kind of pumped up at this point. He's at level 12. He's going to be three levels higher than Jessica, who starts at level nine. So, I left this video run until you could see the stats on my hero. Again, to make sure that there was no funny business. You'll see he has three experience, and it's still level one, and nothing. So, uh, yeah, just something I wanted to kind of show off. So, you guys take care, and... Bye, everybody.